they jumped all over you guys in the first half, but you guys never seemed to panic, even down 26 points. Is that indicative of your leadership on this team and having gone to six straight finals and understanding what it takes to win at this, at this point? Uh, well, first of all, like you said, they definitely jumped all over us, and um, we knew we had to take, uh, you know, one of their punches, but they gave us a flurry, you know, uh, more than we expected. But you know, it's just you know, I gotta keep your composure and understand that it's a 48-minute game, and you know, at halftime, you know, just looking at the guys, just telling them, let's just get a couple stops. You know, we can't erase a 26-point game in one possession. We just gotta get stops and let's execute, get the ball flying and moving around, and. Um, you know, once we did that, we got our composure, we got some stops, we started to play our game, and, um, you know, the momentum changed for us. Chase. LeBron, we talked a lot this season about the depth of the, of the roster and everything and how much attention is paid to you, Kyrie and Kevin. How much can this benefit you going forward when you pull off this kind of comeback with basically the bench group, you and the bench group, and Kyrie and Kevin on the bench? Um, you know, this was why the team was built this way. Um, you know, our depth is, um, you know, it's been challenged this year because of injuries. We haven't been able to get a full, you know, you know, dosage of what we can become, even with the guys on the floor. But, you know, our bench definitely got the game ball tonight. You know, Channing, Shump, D. Will, Kyle, those guys, those guys came in, gave us, uh, you know, huge minutes. Um, and we needed everything from them. You know, they were very, you know, we was, on point defensively and then offensively, we knew exactly what we wanted to get to, and that was a big win for us. LeBron asked you about this early in the season, but uh, now that we're in the playoffs, have the three point shooting acumen of this team rubbed off on you at all? And have you consciously tried to add that as a major wrinkle of your game? Just want to get better every, every year, and uh, I don't settle. I just don't settle for, you know, not being able to do something, you know. So, um, just putting the work in, you know, and understanding that I'm, you know, I'm not, you know, the best shooter on the team when it comes to three pointers. We got, you know, Jr. and Channing and you know, Kyle and, you know, and Champ, you know, and Kyrie. These guys got three point contest trophies in their house. So, you know, for me, I just you know, just try to keep the defense you know, off balance. You know, and tonight I was able to do that. I was able to get into the paint, get to the free throw line, make a couple of shots outside, and uh, just open it up for all of us. LeBron, uh, the Pacers' offensive pace dropped in the third quarter. They didn't have as many possessions as they did in the first half. How much do you think that helped give you a window to get your own offense going and get back into it? Well, the best way to get offense is to, you know, to defend and, and create missed shots. We did a better job of contesting shots. We did a better job of keeping bodies on bodies. And, um, you know, in the third quarter, it allowed us to get back into the game. And I was scoring them 35 to 17. So, um, you know, the first half was not us. Uh, but they, they made it not be us, you know, by, you know, giving us 37 in both quarters. So, you know, we just had to change that approach. And we did that in the second half. LeBron, you talked about that start of the fourth quarter group. That's been one that you've been leading, but it's changed pieces. When D. Will is in that group and Kyle's in that group, what does that do for it? Well, I mean, first of all, it's just two very cerebral basketball players, guys that's played in big games in the postseason. So you look at the, the lineup that we had out there, myself, D. Will, uh, D. Will uh, Shump, Channing, Kyle, it's just playoff experience. and. Um, you know, to have Kyle and D. Will, these guys have played so many, you know, big games and playoff games before that you're not going to shy away from the, from the moment. So um, it, was, it was big time for us. I know you've said many, 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 many times that you don't worry about what's happening in your career in the moment. You'll have time when it's over to sit around and drink a bottle of wine and reflect on it. But in a game like this, there's a stat out there that you scored or assisted on 73 points tonight, which is a playoff high for you in your career. Are there moments, are there games where you can walk off the floor and understand and appreciate something special just happened that you just, you just pulled off the biggest comeback in, in history from a halftime deficit? Do you, do you have those chances to appreciate what's happening? Um, I, can't, I can't even sit up here and say I can. Um, you know, the one thing that I, I do know is that we, 
had a huge halftime deficit and we was able to come back and win the game. I didn't know that it was the biggest comeback and things of that nature. And uh, for myself, I, I don't know, man. I just try to put myself in position to help my teammates win. And no matter who, I'm, who on the floor with me, um, I try to empower them. I try to make them better. I try to make them believe that we can, we can be great every night, no matter who's on the floor with me. And for myself, um, I just don't settle for being not as great as I can be. And it's not going to, it's not going to result in a stat line like this every night, you know, but my mind is where my mind is when my mind is fresh and when my mind is in the moment, then sometimes certain things like this happen. So I don't know. I, I, I can't even, uh, can't even really appreciate it. I'll let you guys kind of write your words about it and, and go from there. But the only thing that matters is a win. And uh, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Is when something like this happens, is it emotional? I presume you, oh, I was thinking maybe you'd have to put your emotions aside as you're making the comeback, but when it's over, what did that, what was that feeling like? Oh, I mean, you just look at, look at the excitement of my teammates after we won the game. I mean, I had the ball all the way on the other end of the floor and all the teammates came down to you know, just congratulate each other on a, on a huge win. I mean, uh, to win on the road in the postseason is, is already tough enough. And for us to win in the fashion we did tonight is even tougher. So, you know, I don't think as a group we don't take that for granted. And uh, we showed that emotion, you know, after the, the clock went to zero. It's not a basketball question, but I'm, I'm just curious uh, if you've had a chance to listen to the new Kendrick Lamar record some more. I know that you, you posted on Instagram. Uh, thoughts on that? What do you, is it better than his last one? Or, or <laughs> That's a great question, man. Um, I haven't stopped listening to it since, since he uh, sent it to me. Uh, I don't even know if that was last week or not before it came out. And um, the guy is an unbelievable talent. Um, his wordplay and his lyrics is unbelievable. And, and it hit home for me at times because I was a kid that grew up in the inner city. And his story of, you know, the, the notion of you either play basketball or sell drugs or you got, that's it, you know. And, um, you know, and there's no out. You know, you become a statistic. You know, as an African American kid growing up in inner city, there's no, they don't believe that you can get out and, and become something. So that's why I'm able to relate to a lot of his lyrics and, and relate to a lot of his stories, you know. And um, so uh, he's an unbelievable, like I said, unbelievable artist, unbelievable person. And uh, I'm, glad it, I'm glad that he's able to put those words uh, onto a track and then for all of us to be able to hear it. And for me, I definitely appreciate it, so.